Hi everyone. Progress indicators are simple graphics that can give instant signals on how close we are to achieving a goal or a task. With DAX and a bit of visual creativity, you can also make good looking charts as I have done in this report using 100% native Power BI visuals. These indicators are showing sales performance with achieved and remaining percentages. On top of that, I have also highlighted the status of the achievement in the title with red and green indicators. Let's go and get started. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so to stay up to date with Power BI, Power Query and Excel videos from Excel Fort. Before we start making our charts, let's have a look at the data. I've got segment, actual sales and target sales. There are five segments in this data set. I have built the basic measures. Actual represents the total of actual sales and the target is the total of target sales. And I have added these two measures to my table visual of segment, actual and target. On top of that, I've also built a measure to calculate the achievement percentage which is showing the achievement percentage actual versus target it's a simple calculation i have actual minus target is divided by target in order for us to build the charts we need two key measures here they are achieved and remaining measures let's add these measures and have a look at them The achieve measure takes the minimum of 1 plus actual versus target percentage. Here 1 means 100% as I have formatted it as a percentage and 100%. So if you look at the example over here, the first line channel partners, it has an achievement of 20% which is over and above 100%, right? I have 100 plus 20, this becomes 120%. And 1 is 100 so minimum will be 100% here that's why you see achieved as 100% the purpose i have done this is to i want to cap it at 100% whenever it goes beyond that for the second measure which i call the remaining i am taking the maximum of actual versus target which has been inverted by adding minus at the front and 0% so what happens is Let's have a look at the first row again. Channel partners, it has achieved 20% over and above 100%. So the remaining is zero, nothing more to achieve. Let's look at the second line, enterprise. It hasn't achieved yet. So there is achievement of 73% and remaining 26.9%. If you carefully look at these two measures, they always add together to a total of 100%. This way I'll be able to visualize it with the achieved and the remaining percentages in my progress chart. With these two measures, now I should be able to build my first indicator chart. I don't need these two measures anymore in my table visual. Let me remove it, resize it. For the first visual, I'm going to use horizontal 100% bar chart, stacked bar chart. I can add the achieved measure first, then the remaining. I don't need any other options in this chart. I can turn them off. You are looking at this chart with the achieved percentage of 86%. This is for the whole market I would say. And the remaining is 13.89. I don't want to show the label for the remaining percentage. I'll show it as a number on a card with some text also i just want to change the color of the remaining percentage to turn off the label only for the remaining i need to go to customize series select remaining turn it off i can filter by segment and check if the percentages are correct 100% achieved for channel partners 
enterprise 73 percent achieved since i don't show the remaining percentage on the chart it will be a good idea to highlight it and show it right next to the chart on a card visual probably let me go and insert a card visual and add the remaining measure we've achieved 86.1 percent remaining is 13.9 this makes sense but if i go and click on channel partners where we have 20 percent over and above the target the chart shows 100 percent achievement that's fine but instead of remaining 0.0, .0 i just want to show that 20 percent over and above the target achievement here for this i have created another measure let's go and have a look at it it's the actual versus target label measure where i am taking the absolute value of actual versus target percentage now i can replace the remaining measure with this one on my card visual i've selected channel partners where we have 20 percent achievement this 100 percent indicates that the target has been achieved the 20 percent shows what's the achievement over and above the target if i select enterprise we have 73.1 percent achievement and 26.9 is the remaining to make it more clear and informative i can add a proper label based on the achievement percentage for that i have already created a measure which is target status label in this measure I'm checking if actual versus target percentage is greater than or equal to zero. That means the target has been achieved. So I can show a text as above target or if it is less yet to be achieved, then I show as to target. Let's add this measure to a card visual and see how it shows up. I can turn off the category label from this card visual. And then I can make a copy. In this card visual, I'm going to insert the new measure, which is target status label. Do some formatting. Now these two labels together gives a good indication of how much percentage to be achieved on the target if I select let's say channel partners so we have 20% above target in a price 26.9% to be achieved it will look nice if I put all these elements together and make it look like a single element for that I can insert a shape and do the right formatting I go to insert shape I can do the formatting for this shape fill white turn off outline turn on border radius I'll set it to 10 turn on shadow I'll choose custom size to blur will be 10 the distance I'll keep it at 2 and the transparency 85 I can move this shape up and put it behind the elements format tab sent to back now this look pretty good the next thing I'm going to do is I want to show an indicator in red or green based on the achievement which will clearly highlight the status of the achievement for that I have already created a measure as well which is segment title let me take you through the measure first I have created a variable and assigned the selected value from the segment selection I assume we've select only a single segment here in your case if you want to alter it you can go ahead and change it otherwise more than one or nothing is selected we take all segments as the label here 
Second variable basically check if uh, actual versus target percentage is greater than or equal to zero. Then I show green. This green is an emoji. I have inserted it pressing Windows key and the period on my keyboard. Let me do it and show you. Windows period. This way you can use any emoji that is suitable. I take the indicator and combine it with the selected segment. In my next step, I'm going to assign that variable to the title of the shape that is in the background. Select the shape, turn on text. I can use conditional formatting to call that particular measure. Field value, segment title. We need to do some formatting to make it look nice. Now you can see it indicates red or green based on the achievement. Channel partners, enterprise, yet to achieve, so it's red. I can apply a bit of padding to move it away from the corner on the text. Top 5. This is how you make an indicator chart using 100% stack bar chart. Now we'll have a look at how we can make one using a donut chart. For that I'm going to insert a donut chart. We've already created two measures and used. We can use the same here, achieved and the remaining measures. I can get rid of all the unnecessary options here. I don't need the legend, turn off details, title, background, even tooltips and visual header, I don't need them. I need to do a bit of formatting, select the chart. Let's change the color of the remaining to white and change the inner radius to 85. I can copy paste the labels from the bar chart above. Let me select both by pressing Ctrl, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'm going to drag and drop it right in the middle. That's perfect. Next, I can also include in my title the indicator where it shows red or green based on the achievement. For that, I can click on the title turn on the title let me get rid of what is already there and click on the conditional formatting i can choose the segment title over here click ok done so now we've got a nice donut chart that shows the progress towards the goal and the percentage of achievement now if you want to get the same shadow effects that I have applied on the shape, you can just copy and paste the formatting. Let's do it this way. You can click on the shape, format painter, click on the chart. Now you got the same effect over here, right? I can just mark all these elements together, visuals together and group it. So this is a single unit. So you can just move around and place it wherever you want right if you want to create individual indicators for each segment here you can do it this way by making a copy of this grouped elements together and you can paste it now I'm going to apply filter on this first let me select the visual I can drag and drop the segment select channel partners right I have the label here I'll do the same segment channel partners and also on the label yes now we've selected channel partners and it shows the percentage and the text accordingly this way you'll be able to build and use it on your dashboard right 
With this, I have come to an end. You can leave your comments below and let me know if you have any questions. Hope this was useful. See you in my next video. Thank you very much.